With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, question is given here. Two semicircular ring of the linear mass density lambda and two lambda and the radius of r each other joined to form a complete ring. Okay. The distance of the center of mass of complete ring from the geometrical center. Okay. So see this is our here complete circle okay and let's assume this is coordinate this is y coordinate and this is our x coordinate okay this is our center so so this is one semicircle upper part with lambda is density mass density and here this is another semicircle with mass density is how much two lambda okay radius is r given okay so see let the geometrical center is at origin okay let geometrical let geometrical center okay let geometrical center is at is an origin okay origin okay so center of mass here center of mass of first ring will be how much first ring is equal to center of mass first ring is x center of mass comma y center of mass is equal to how much zero into two so that is equal to how much x x center of mass 0 and y center of mass how much this will be here this radius is r so total this is 2 r so this will be 2 r upon mass uh, here lambda is given mass density so this will be 0 comma 2 r by pi okay now center of mass of second ring second ring is equal to this will be x center of mass comma y center of mass is equal to how much this will be here x this is 0 and this will be minus 2 r upon pi ok now center of mass of whole geometry center of mass of whole geometry is equal to how much m1 r1 plus m2 r2 upon m1 plus m2 okay so from here this is equal to lambda into pi r into 2 r r1 2 r by pi plus 2 lambda into pi r minus this will be how much minus 2 r by pi okay upon m1 plus m2 is equal to how much lambda into pi r plus 2 lambda into pi r here lambda is the mass density and pi r for the semicircle okay so this is equal to how much minus lambda into pi r into this will be 2 r upon pi okay so pi and pi cancel upon this will be 3 lambda into pi r okay that is equal to how much minus 2 r upon 3 pi okay so this will be the our answer minus 2 r upon 3 pi okay in negative y axis in negative y axis okay so this will be 2 r upon 3 pi here 2 r upon 3 pi option second is the correct option thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today